Hi, this is Sylvia Sanchez with DIY Stamping Fun. And today I wanna to share um, three projects. I hope I can have, I have enough time to go through three projects with you. And they're all featuring the Lemon Zest um, stamp set from Stampin' Up. And there's also the Lemon Builder Punch. Um, these items are on the retired list and they're while supplies last. I really like this stamp set because it has some really cool sentiments in the stamp set. Um, if you're watching this, will you please let me know if I'm sideways? I, this is my second attempt at um, doing a Facebook Live and the first time it was sideways. So I don't know. I don't know if it's sideways or not, but anyway. Um, I'm gonna start and let me check on my iPad. Still not showing up. Hold on, please. Okay, technical difficulties. Why does it always work? It's like when you bake a cake for yourself, right? Or for your family, it comes out perfect, but then you need to take it somewhere and it's all wonky. So anyway, I don't see it, but, um, oh, I think I just, I just heard from somebody. Yay. Oh, is it Gail? Hi, Gail. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing up my comments. I'm having to step up on a ladder. And uh, there, I can see it now. All right. Um, okay, so I, what I really like about this set is um, all the sentiments. And I love the colors. They're really bright. And the other product that will be discontinued or retired is the Lemon Lime Zest cardstock, ink pads, and um, the refills. The other thing that will be retiring is this really awesome Starburst Oh My Stars. It's called Oh My Stars um, embossing folder. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do with um, this card is cut your cardstock lemon lime twist to four and a quarter by eleven score at five and a half. All right, and then we want to adhere our daffodil delight. To our card front and then I will take my whisper white cardstock and stamp I want to stamp the greeting at the bottom and the one that says squeeze it for all it's worth all right Making sure that it's so go towards the bottom right. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to take the Oh My Stars embossing folder. This embossing folder will be retiring also, but I really like it for so many occasions. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't want to, I don't want to put it all the way through because then that would put the little embossing on the sentiment. So I am just going to position it and have the bottom part um, outside the embossing folder and then run this through the big shot 
so that you can get it embossed. And then this is what it looks like. I hope you can see all the little detail, but it embossed it really nice. And then this bottom part where I have the sentiment, there's no embossing on it. And that's what I wanted to do. And then I'm going to take this really pretty Daffodil Delight ribbon, um, which is also retiring. So I just did a simple knot on it. And then I'm going to take just regular Scotch tape, adhere it to the back. Make sure I don't cover up my sentiment. So there, no one's gonna see this. So then just taking my snail, which is double-sided adhesive, and then just kind of centering it on the other panel. And now we're gonna work on decorating the rest of it. And so what we're gonna do is take the lemon. And by the way, this little sheet is awesome. It's really meant for the Stamparatus, but I really like it because it's small and uh, doesn't take up too much room on your, sp on your workspace. Okay, so now I'm um, using the lemon, which, and I'm using the Daffodil Delight. And I like to see which way it's going into my punch. So I think this is the best way. So when you ink up your stamps, kind of go all the way around and not just concentrate in the center. That way you'll get a lot of ink from all the other areas onto your stamp. Okay, so now close it up. It's a beautiful color. And now I'm going to position. I should have done it this way. Let's turn it around this way. Oh, it still cuts out the leaves. Okay. Okay. That's one. Now all I need is the lemon slice. Again, using lemon lime, I mean Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna stamp two of them out. All right. The lemon slice isn't part of the lemon builder, but the one and three quarter inch punch will cut these out very nicely. And the one and three quarter punch is also on the retired list. So I'm really gonna miss it because I really use that a lot with my two inch um, circle punch. Okay, so then punch one out. Move it, slide it across, position it. Punch the other one out. And then taking my lemon and I'm going to stamp the if life gives you lemons and right now I bet you're feeling like a little limb uh, life is giving you lemons right Gail after just having had surgery all right so take make sure that your stamp is well inked and then just kind of position over the lemon And then what you want to do is take your scissors 
and I'm gonna cut one of these lemons just down this white line, and that way it looks, I have two lemon slices. Very easy peasy. Okay, the other thing you need is your leaves. And I really like to have just, you know, use any scrap piece of paper, um, stamp using Lemon Lime Twist. It's an awesome color. It's really cheery, very bright. So inking up our stamp, I am going to just stamp on a piece, a scrap piece of paper. Close this up and then um, using the Lemon Builder Punch. Position it into your punch. And if you just kind of hold it, it kind of locks it in place. And then press, and you have your leaf. I already had some cut out, so we'll use those. So now let's put our card together. And so here's my card. This one had a retired ribbon on it. Um, that retired, I think, last year. But this is still current this year until the end of May. Okay, so then we just want to position our lemon. And I really like to use um, my uh, glue dots. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple of glue dots here. Makes it really easy to then position my leaves. So, um, I want two leaves. So, here's one lemon leaf and here's another. Just kind of position them anywhere and then taking my dimensionals to the back of the lemon. And I'm gonna take a lemon slice use my snail to just adhere that and then I'm going to put my lemon with the leaves and then one of the lemon slices I think I'll add a dimensional to it as well and maybe some leaves behind it and again I like to use the glue dots I like using a glue dot couple of glue dots because it kind of gives you a little extra play to get your things in position see if I didn't like that I could easily remove it and then make sure you take the paper off of your dimensional And there you have it, the first project. We have a really cute card that we could send to somebody that if they're having a little, need a little bit of encouragement. One thing I don't know if you can notice on this card is it has some dimension and it kind of looks very glossy. And what I used for that is the fine tip glue. Let's see, I should have it here. No, I don't. It's the fine tip glue. This is really used for little areas, but when this dries, it dries dimensional. So that's a really nice thing to add to your cards. Okay, so first project is done. All right. The other fun thing to do is I decided um, I would make a really cute topper for someone to give to, you know, someone in the office or just a friend and, um, 
This is using our two by eight cellophane bags. And then I'm also including these really cool flavor packets. It's a lemonade, it says original lemonade flavored drink mix. And it's these little packets that you can put into your water bottle. I think those are really fun to do. Okay, so let's get started with this one. All right, so all you need to make the bag topper is a piece of lemon lime twist that is two by five and a half, and it's scored at two and three fourths. All right, so. So again, using our lemon. I'm gonna stamp the lemon. And it's still pretty wet, but I'm gonna go ahead and risk adding the same sentiment, or actually the, if life gives you lemons. Kind of just hover over to stamp. And then I'm gonna take I'm going to take a lemon slice, and I really like this one. It's, it's bound to make anybody laugh, but it says, if life gives you lemons, chuck them right back. Isn't that a fun saying? Okay, so taking our lemon builder punch, that out and I'm going to take my two by five and a half inch piece of lemon lime twist again adding dimensionals to the back so that I can add the leaves that were stamped in lemon lime twist I should have some extra ones here I do okay so here we go. Here's some others. This time, I'm not gonna add any dimensionals to it, but I will use my snail. For it. And on the back, this is the chuck them right back. Take your, um, here it is, and let's add let's add a couple. I'm gonna add a cup, a, a straw. A paper straw would have been cool, but I didn't have any that were yellow colored. And I kinda wanted to stick with the same thing. So here's another lemonade that you put in your water bottle. And I try to find lemon drops, but they don't make lemon drops that are wrapped. So this is a yellow piece of candy. But you can really put anything in here. And then I'm gonna use my tear and tape to attach the tag topper on. And just make sure that you put some at the bottom on both sides. Burnish it, make sure you burnish it. And then cut it off.
So there, there's the tear and tape. And make sure I burnish it really well. Looks like I got some extra on this side, but it won't show. Or I can cut it off, this extra little piece. Okay, then all you do is take the tear and tape off. And the Take Your Pick tool is so awesome for this. It makes it really easy. And then you close it up. And then we always want to have a little bit of bling. I don't see my rhinestones here. But... Um, you could just embellish it with rhinestones or um, glitter dots or even some or even some uh, glitter enamel dots. All right, so that's the second project. We're on to the third project. And before I start the third project, I want to remind you that um, if you place a minimum $35 order on my website and you use this host code, um, I will send you all the materials to make these three projects, okay? Um, well, except for the candy and the stuff that'll really make it heavy. Um, but I will send you all the paper. I will also send you this acetate box and I will also send you the two by eight cellophane um, bag to make one of these toppers. Okay, now on to the third project. Okay, this is I think very, it's a fun thing to do and I think it's really an inexpensive idea and people are always impressed that you did something for them, you know, and uh, it's a surprise. They don't, it's really unexpected and it's really inexpensive. So for very little cost, you can brighten somebody's day. All right, so all this is is our acetate boxes and they come in a package flat when you order them from Stampin' Up or on my website. And all you have to do is just fold it got the crease lines it's really easy to fold so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna assemble the box okay there and here's the opening well when I was looking for lemon themed objects for the lemon zest stamp set. I saw this at my local grocery store and it's a mug cake. And uh, this mug cake is lemon flavored and it also has a lemon topping to it. And so I think this would be a great little office birthday or for a teacher or something. But all you do is you put in into your cellophane box or your acetate box. The mug treat, this is a lemon cake mix. There's two little candles, and then this is the topping for it. You could really jazz this up also if you put in like shreds or something. And then we're gonna make a belly band. And this belly band with all these leaves on it is part of the Love What You Share designer series paper and the designer series paper is also on the retired list so all you need is the flip side of the love what you share um designer series paper and this is one and a half by 12. so i just took one and a half inches off of a 12 inch uh, sheet of designer series paper Okay, so then all you do is, oh, I forgot to put this on here. So we're going to add our lemon 
mug cake. Don't you think the lug mug cakes are the best invention ever? Whenever you want a cake or a little piece of cake, you can just make one for yourself. Okay, and this one had the topping, so that put in the, I put it in there. I don't have any candles with me, but I think it's fun to put little candles in there. Wouldn't it be great? You're in the office and you give it to somebody to celebrate their birthday and you didn't even have to bake, but they can have their own little cake. Okay, so now here is my one and a half by 12 inch piece of designer series paper and I'm gonna make a belly band. One thing to remember when making a belly band is don't make it so tight that it won't slide off. So, not even gonna score it, just kind of pinching it where I think, you know, say, didn't really need to score it, I just pinched it in, and I am going towards the front because that will be covered, all right? Make sure you use a very strong adhesive like our tear and tape, and I am putting it actually on this end. Doesn't really matter, just make sure that you adhere it. And then burnish it, tear it off, and then, ah, I need to be using my pick tool. Here, there it goes. Expose the adhesive, then there we go, we have the belly band. Okay, let's decorate it. What I used was a the largest circle from the stitched shapes die set. All right, that's what this is. But if I don't know if you can notice it, this one, I didn't run it through an embossing folder and I kind of thought it would look better if I just ran it through like the subtle embossing folder and it just gave it a little extra texture. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna take a three quarter inch piece of um, Whisper White cardstock and we're going to take the Happy Birthday Sentiment and I'm gonna stamp, make sure my ink pad is well inked and it's in the right I hope it's straight. If not, yeah, it is. Oh, but I smudged it. Okay, let's do it again. Don't rock your stamp. Ah, I went too high up this time. That's all right, we can do it. Try to center it. Another way to do it would be to cut a much larger paper, piece of paper, and then when you get around, when you stamp it, then you can cut it to size. All right, so for this one, I am using the triple banner punch. Thank God that's remaining. And I'm just gonna position it just a little, just a little, that's too far. Position it in the center, punch it out. And there we have it. So then, Again, using my snail or the double-sided adhesive, I'm just positioning it on my circle. All right, and then using a lemon slice, a lemon with some few leaves. Do these leaves and don't want to cover up everything and I want a full lemon slice Here's a full lemon slice that I add some snail. I forgot to add my leaves. You know what? We can stick them in here. 
Not a problem. It's another creative opportunity or an opportunity for embellishment. That's what I always say. All right, and for the lemon slice, which I cut in half, I do want a dimensional on it. Sorry about that. And I think I do want to add um, more leaves on here. Lemon leaves. Stamped and lemon lime twist. Again, it's retiring. I really like this color. And I'm just going to stick it right there. And then all we need is some um, glitter enamel dots to complete this. This, we have some that are very vibrant. This is also a retired product. I still had on my, in my craft stash, but they're perfect for this. Come on. And I think I need a bigger one. There it is. Up here. And that just kind of jazzes it up. And then I'm going to take this entire thing. And now I'm going to add them to my belly band. The dimensionals. And there we have it. A cute little office gift or a neighbor or somebody. Um, miraculously, I found my rhinestones. So I like to have a lot of bling on stuff. So on my little drink treat, I'm just adding some random rhinestones. Because if life gives you lemons, you need a little bling, don't you? Bling just makes everything better. This tool is great for picking it up, picking up rhinestones. Okay, that's our three projects for today. Thanks for your patience. This is only the second Facebook Live I do. Um, but I will do a drawing if I get 20 shares. Uh, and uh, I'll send a pack of dimensionals to someone or a part of a pack. I'll, I'll send a sheet of dimensionals if I get 20 shares and I'll do a random drawing. Uh, if you do place an order, if you go to my online store and you pay, place a minimum $35 order um, of anything that you want, of course, I highly recommend that you get the lemon zest before it's gone or the lemon lime twist or this really awesome lemon builder punch get it before they're gone if you place a minimum 35 dollar order and you use my host code i will send you all the materials all the paper materials needed to make these three projects i cannot as per stampin up policy i cannot send you stamped images but i can certainly send you all the parts the two by eight cellophane the acetate box and the cardstock necessary so that you can create all three of today's projects. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate um, to message me or comment. Thanks for stopping by. And again, this is Sylvia Sanchez with DIY Stamping Fun. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch me photo through these three projects. Thanks again. Um, I promise the next one will be better.